Hello, and welcome to today's presentation on the Pennsylvania On-The-Job Training, OJT, Supportive Services Center. What is the Pennsylvania On-The-Job Training, OJT, program? The Federal Highway Administration's policy is to require full use of all available training and skill improvement opportunities to assure increased participation of minority groups, disadvantaged persons, and women in all phases of the highway construction industry. The FHWA On-The-Job Training OJT, program requires the state transportation agencies to establish apprenticeships and training programs targeted to move women minorities and disadvantaged individuals into journey-level positions to ensure that a competent workforce is available to meet highway construction hiring needs and to address the historical underrepresentation of members of these groups in highway construction skilled crafts. PennDOT has established the On-The-Job Training Program, pursuant to 23 U.S.C. 140A, Code 23 of the Federal Regulations Part 230, Subpart A, and Executive Order 11246. The On-The-Job Training Program provides training opportunities for minority women and economically disadvantaged individuals to advance them toward journey-level status in highway construction trades. What is the Pennsylvania On-The-Job Training, OJT, Supportive Services Program? The OJT, Supportive Services Program, was established in Title 23 Code of Federal Regulations, Part 230, to supplement the OJT program and support state transportation agency training programs by providing services to highway construction contractors and assistance to highway construction apprentices and trainees. The primary objectives of OJT, Supportive Services are 1. To increase the overall effectiveness of the state highway agencies' approved training programs, and 2. To seek other ways to increase the training opportunities for women, minorities, and disadvantaged individuals. What is the PAOJT Supportive Services Center? The PAOJT Supportive Services Center is a joint initiative between the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation and ProRank Business Solutions, LLC. The mission of the On-The-Job Training Supportive Services Center is, is to provide training opportunities for minority women and economically disadvantaged individuals to advance them toward journey-level status in highway construction trades. After training begins on a PennDOT project, the PA OJT SSC conducts confidential on-site counseling sessions with trainees to address any concerns regarding program expectations, assigned duties, and any questions trainees of regarding participation. Who's eligible for OJT supportive services? Individuals who are interested in becoming a trainee must be a minimum of 18 years of age, have a high school diploma or GED, be in good health or can pass a pre-job physical should one be required. Pass a drug test should one be required. Demonstrate evidence of a reasonable amount of intelligence to handle the technical elements of the job. Demonstrate evidence of a reasonable amount of aptitude and interest in the craft. Have a valid license that is equipment operator, truck driver, or highway. Not be accepted as a trainee in any classification in which they have successfully completed a training program leading toward journey level status or in which such person has been gainfully employed as a journey by virtue of informal on the job training. And not be an individual or apprentice who enrolled as trainee and quit three, three times as they will no longer be eligible to participate in the program. This determination can be addressed on a case by case basis. What OJT supportive services are offered? After training begins on a PennDOT project, the PAOJT Supportive Services Center conducts an orientation interview with trainees. During the interview, the training to be provided and the benefits and challenges associated with working in the highway construction industry are discussed. When necessary, the PAOJT SSC conducts counseling sessions with trainees to address any concerns regarding program expectations, assigned duties, and any questions trainees of regarding participation. An OJT consultant has monthly contact with trainees to ensure the trainee has no questions or issues and has proper support to complete the program and necessary industry training. 
The PAOJT Supportive Services Center will help trainees overcome barriers and obstacles that may impact the ability of the trainee to participate and complete training and program participation requirements successfully. The PAOJT SSC will also assist the OJT trainee with matters such as, but not limited to transportation, childcare, safety equipment, work-related training, health and safety protocols, training on basic industry skill sets, education on apprenticeships, and journey person status. Finally, all trainees will also receive access to a self-paced learning platform for the PennDOT OJT community on ProRank Academy. Active and enrolled trainees participating in the PAOJT program can access the ProRank Academy platform at no expense to the trainee. As a participant of the PENDA OJT program, each trainee has access to a plethora of courses, course materials, media, and a rapidly growing subscriber base of potential employers and trainers. What are the OJT program requirements for contractors? When a PennDOT project includes either training special provision 1999-9999 applicable to trainees on federal projects or 3999-9999 applicable to trainees on state-funded projects, the contractor shall obtain acceptance from PennDOT for the training program to be utilized and the start time for training prior to commencing any training. The prime contractor submits the highway contractor's on-the-job training program, EO363, within 10 days after the notice to proceed, which identifies the training classifications selected to be utilized on the project. When the contractor's recruitment efforts identify qualified candidates, a trainee enrollment form, EO364, must be completed and submitted to Pendit's project inspector in charge prior to the anticipated start date identified on the EO364. The Highway Contractor's Monthly Training Report, EO365, details the training completed by trainees and or apprentices. At the conclusion of training, trainees and or apprentices receive a completion certificate of training. Contractors are encouraged to develop their own training program outline, tailored to the needs of the project that can provide a minimum of 1,000 hours of combined on-the-job training and work experience to provide an effective, significant, and meaningful training opportunity. Proposed training programs must be approved by PennDOT and the Federal Highway Administration prior to acceptance of the program. How to find recruits or get recruited for the PAOJT program? Finding recruits for contractors. Non-union contractors must recruit for eligible, qualified, qualifiable women and minority candidates to satisfy the trainee special provision. The contractor should make every good faith effort to recruit from the targeted groups, documentation of the contractor's requests for minority and women candidates is to be maintained along with the results of such requests. Contractors can recruit directly from the OJT Job Bank in ProRank Academy, PRA. Getting recruited for individuals. Individuals looking to pursue careers in the Pennsylvania heavy highway construction industry can visit paojtssc.com and click on the Job Bank Signet button in the main menu bar to add themselves to the PAOJT SSC Job Bank by submitting the completed form. Once the intake form is completed, individuals will receive an email with information and instructions to access their new individual employment seeker profile and the OJT Job Bank on ProRank Academy. Thank you for viewing our presentation on the OJT Supportive Services Center. Please feel free to contact us with any further questions by calling 833-PNN-OJT or 833-736-6658. You can also email us at paojtssc at prorankllc.com or visit us at paojtssc.com to learn more. Have a great day.